guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be reviewing the requill sunscreens all three of them from requill and yes let's get started with today's video but before that let me just clarify that i have an acne prone combination sensitive skin so yes keeping that in mind i am reviewing the sunscreens and it might happen that you love those sunscreens or you hate those sunscreens but yes my views are completely personal and it might differ from person to person and please don't take it otherwise so yeah dry touch sunscreen is meant for acne prone skin combination skin and oily skin it is sweat proof it is perfect under makeup and it comes with eye hair protection as well and it is non comedogenic so i did use it up for the first week and it was completely fine i did use an underlying moisturizer for that first one week and it completely behave fine however when i went to the second week I applied only a thin layer of moisturizer. The temperature here in Bangalore is rising, and hence I decided to keep my moisturizer minimal. And when I applied the sunscreen on the top of my moisturizer, I did get severe breakout. And it was not a breakout; it was not acne breakout. It was a sensitive flare-up, and my skin just bulged up on those specific areas and i did test it again for three consecutive days i tried out uh, tried out the sunscreen and yeah it gave me flare ups every time i tried this on my moisturizer and hence i stopped using it as you could see i have almost used half of the sunscreen and i was literally enjoying the sunscreen for the first one week and i thought like it would be just good and it was about to become my favorite sunscreen but then this happened and that's why i uh, thought of reviewing all the skincare products after using it for a longer amount of time like rather than just reviewing it just for the sake of it and hence i have decided to cut down my video numbers and it might affect the traffic on my channel but that's fine now coming to silicone based sunscreen now this sunscreen does fall in that category where i am not sure whether the silicone is the culprit here or the formulation is the culprit here i faced the same kind of reaction with photostable gold which was performing very well for the first week and then in the second half i had a big flare up with photostable so this sunscreen also belongs to that category and if you are from that skin category that's why i am making this video for you all so this video goes out to you all who are from that sensitive skin type who had a bad experience with photostable gold i think you sh you shouldn't even go for retramat dry sunscreen and even the sunmed sunscreen i think that was also a bad experience for me so this sunscreens are not meant for me the silicone is a culprit or the oil formulation along with the silicone is a culprit you never know the formulation itself is a culprit for us so i think better to avoid the sunscreen for sensitive skin now if you are if you are scared of silicone i can assure you that this won't give any breakout i had even repurchased the sunscreen face guard sunscreen is the one and similar formulation is the ip acne uv sunscreen which is similar consistency similar ingredient list like the face guard one i love this sunscreen and i will love ip acne sunscreen as well i am sure of it and i have got multiple reviews from multiple people so many of you reach out to me for sunscreen and i get to know reviews on each of this individually from many of you so yes i can assure that this one does pretty good job however yes there is one problem with this uh, once i had ordered it from pharma easy app and i think the sunscreen has not been stored well and there were small granules inside it and that can be an issue with face guard so if it has not been stored well you can always go for a refund or a like buy back kind of thing and you can really uh, work with pharmacy because i have actually placed a return and they did come for a return be sure to use it like buy it from any such app where, which gives you refund if you find like it is faulty so yeah that should be fine but otherwise it didn't give me any reaction i love 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 this sunscreen a lot more than many other sunscreen moving on to the next sunscreen which i tried out from requil and that is the requil oxybenzone and omc free sunscreen now this i was not very happy with the sunscreen i was okay with the sunscreen this sunscreen is again a fluid based sunscreen but it does have a lot of white cast in the beginning but you need to really work on your skin 
to get this like absorbed on your skin so it does take time and that itself is like not a good sign of a good sunscreen because it does take a lot of time to like apply it onto your skin but however it didn't give me any such breakouts it is non comedogenic however yeah this is mentioned for sensitive oily and acne prone skin and it was fine but i was not too happy with the sunscreen so i am not preferring this sunscreen i'm not going deep into the chemical review of all the sunscreen because i know like it has been reviewed already everywhere and i just don't want to get into details i'm just sharing my experience over here because i just want my i want my videos to be short and crisp and to the point i would rate the sunscreen 5 upon 10 and this one is like minus 1 upon 10 for sensitive skin it is not meant for sensitive skin though it is written that it is meant for all skin types okay let's move on to my favorite sunscreen and that is the liquid zinc sunscreen now again coming to liquid zinc sunscreen it didn't give me any breakout whatsoever i even used that when my skin barrier was severely damaged i used it up and like me being a sensitive skin and my skin barrier damaged and that performing well i think that sunscreen is uh, a gem sunscreen i mean except for the tint i love the sunscreen i love the sunscreen for sensitive skin it is a mineral based sunscreen i don't have the tube presently with me but yeah it fared pretty well i liked it so much that i had even cut it into half and have used the parts which were like sticking onto the tube so yeah i really really enjoyed uh, requil zinc sunscreen and i would recommend requil zinc sunscreen to all skin types it might be drying for dry skin type however you need to really apply some good moisturizer but i didn't feel any drying effect uh, when i applied it compared to many other sunscreen which i have tried out which had dried out my skin requil zinc didn't dry out my skin fortunately or incidentally whatever it is but i didn't find any reaction with that i come to the end of this video and with that i just want to mention that i have um, one or two more sunscreens to review and after that i really want to take a break from sunscreen testing on my skin for some time i really want to stick to my favorite sunscreens for some time and i will not be coming up with more reviews on sunscreen for some more time yes i might test some high-end sunscreen because i really don't want to take risk by experimenting and applying those sunscreens on my face so yes sorry for that and i think yeah that was all about this video i hope you found this video useful and yes see you in my next video pretty soon bye